All right, so I'm answering this question. Um, the, the actual question that was posed to me is basically uh, to find the tan of arc cosine, and then you're given square root of two over two, and you're trying to find the solution. So I'm gonna bring you back to uh, some basics here. And so we're looking for the tan of arc cosine of square root of two over two. If we're looking at cosine square root of two over two, we already know that we're dealing with a special triangle, 45, 45, 90. Okay, and we know that based on this notation. We know that this is x, x, and this will be x square root of two. So if this is cosine of that angle, we're gonna look at this as, in this case, this is square root of two, this will be square root of two, and this value here will actually be equal to two based on notation. And if that is the case, and I'm looking at angle theta, this angle here, then I'm going to assume that this is going to be equivalent to 10 of pi over four, which is obviously the same as um, in radian. We know this will give us 45 degrees. Um, the second question that was posed was cosine of arc sine and then you're given 5 over uh, square root 13 and for this one you want to focus on the triangle where we have a 90 degree angle here this is our theta here's our 13 our 5 our 12 so you're looking at the 5 12 13 ratio um, in this case, you're going to solve for this uh, using arc sine of 5 over 13. Find this value first, and then once you do that, you're going to take the cosine of that value, which is going to yield you 12 over 13. And again, think cosine. What's the cosine? Co -ca. So cosine of theta. Remember, this is always the hypotenuse over here. So that answers those two questions. Um, I'm going to give you a couple more examples, and again, this reverts back to these ratios that you see here. That's why I'm quickly answering this fairly uh, easily. Um, <clears throat> let's look at a couple more examples. What if I asked you for the sine of arc 10, 3 over 4? Okay, so again, if I'm drawing the triangle for this, I'm thinking the 3, 4, 5 ratio comes to mind. Um, so here's our 90 degree angle, and here we are with 3, 4, 5 with the hypotenuse over here. Mm -hmm. And again, if I'm looking at the arctan of 3 over 4, the sine of arctan 3 over 4 would have to be the 3 over 5. So this answer would be 3 over 5. And again, just go back to the ratio. Um, if it were this being theta, if I'm looking for tan theta, I know that it's opposite over adjacent. If I'm doing arc tan theta, then I'm going to do the, I'm sorry, the sine of arc tan theta, uh, or, or of arc tan 3 over 4 would have to be 3 over 5, hence opposite over hypotenuse. Alright, let's do another example. Um, what if I said to you, let's find the sine of arc sine 1 over 2, 1 half. Okay, so in this case I'm thinking this is going to be a 30, 60, 90 because I'm looking at uh, the 1, 2 square root of 3 ratio, right, where this is theta. Here's my 90 degree. So if I'm looking at the arc sine of 1 half, this is going to be the same, and again we can go back to the trigonometric circle arc sine one half, I'm looking at pi over six. All right, so in this case, um, this is gonna yield me sine pi over six, which we know is one half, or one over two. Okay, uh, another example. What if I had the cosine of arc sine, oops, sorry of arc sine one half, okay? And so same thing, same rule applies. We're gonna still look at the same triangle. 
This is still a 1, 2 square root of 3. Where our theta is here, here's our 90 degree angle. So if, again, if this is theta and I'm looking at the sine, sine of theta, so looking at S, the, the opposite over the hypotenuse. But I don't want that, I want the square root, um, in this case, square root of 3, because I want cosine of the arc sine of 1 half, which in this case is going to give me cosine uh, pi over 6, which is the equivalent of square root of 3 over 2 evaluated. Okay, and one last example. Let's do secant. Um, if I had secant of arc sine 4 over 5, and again we're going to draw the 3, 4, 5 triangle. Okay, so here's your 3, your 4, and your 5. So I'm looking at angle theta sitting here. If sine is opposite over hypotenuse, the secant. Okay, so you need to remember, go back to your basics here. If a uh, sine refers to cosecant, cosine refers to secant, and uh, tan refers to cotan. So if, and these are inverses of each other, so if this is xy, this is going to be yx, and so on, okay? Um, respectively. So again, go back to, to this example. Again, so, uh, so sine of this would be that value. If I'm looking for secant, I'm looking for the inverse. So cosine will give me 3 fifths. That's true. But I'm looking at secant of that. So in this case, my final answer should be 5 thirds. All right. Hopefully you find that helpful.